Hi, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about network like with 3G, 4G, 5G, or LTE isn't working from your voice and data option on your iPhone. Now, if you are using iPhone 14 series like iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 14 Plus, or any other iPhone with iOS 16, and if you found out your network isn't working for any of those options from here, don't worry, because here in today's video, I'll go ahead and show you how you can solve this problem and how you can use 3G, 4G, 5G, or LTE on on your iPhone. So let's get started. Well, keep in mind, this problem mainly happened for SIM, network, and software bugs. Now, to solve the problem, the very first troubleshooting process would be ejecting your SIM card and place it back on. Or if you're using eSIM card, just deactivate it and reactivate again on your iPhone, see what happens. Now, let's say you eject your SIM card and place it back on again, but it's still, you have the same problem. If you still have the same problem here, next, open settings, and scroll down here, tap on mobile data, you have to tap on network selection. Make sure to toggle on your automatic. If it's just turned off, simply go ahead and turn on your automatic features or option on your iPhone to solve your problem. Now, let's say you did that, but still your network is not working well. Then the next things I'm going to talk about is your date and time. Sometimes a wrong and accurate date and time can cause this problem. So all you want to do here, you want to open up your settings again, scroll down to general. Now scroll down to your date and time. Now from here, make sure to just toggle on the set automatic features on your iPhone to solve your problem. Now let's say you checked your date and time as well but it's still you have the same problem with your LTE 3Z 4G or 5G network. In that case, the next things I'm going to talk to you about is the software update. Now, if you just open up your settings on your iPhone here, if you scroll down to general, if you tap on software update here, now this is going to show you whether it has a new software available or not. So if you found out a new software available here, just like that, go ahead and update it. And after that, your problem is going to be solved. Now, let's say you update your iPhone, but it's still you have a problem with those settings here. And lastly, I'm going to talk to you about the reset network setting because resetting your network will solve your problem. So you can simply head over to setting one more time, scroll down to general, scroll down again and tap on transfer reset iPhone, tap on reset. First, go ahead and choose your reset network settings. Now, doing this process will actually solve your problem. However, though, if this process didn't work for you, just simply head over and tap on reset all settings, tap reset all settings again, tap on reset all settings again. And after that, your iPhone is going to take a restart and your problem is going to be solved. These are the common things that you guys can do on your iPhone to solve your problem. Now, let's say you did all of the process here, but it's still you have the problem here. Then, especially for 5G users, first, you have to figure out whether the 5G is available, where you're actually in or not. So if you see, well, there is no 5G available, then you can have problem with the 5G. In that case, you can simply switch to 4G or LTE, or you can simply talk to your customer support to get further help regarding your SIM card or the type of problem that you're currently facing with. So these are all the processes that you guys can follow on your iPhone to solve your 3G, 4G, 5G, or LTE is not working on your iPhone. I hope you found this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.